All right, hi everybody. This is uh, Don Derwin. I'm into Innabills A300, 600, and um, before I um, I lower, I mean I rose up my cockpit here. I mean my uh, my viewpoint and. I got that in another video if you want to look at that. But I also changed the viewpoint so I can see my throttle quadrant here when I'm landing or when I'm taxing also. Because um, when I was calibrating this thing. This is, um, it's pretty, uh, I don't even want to touch that thing because I'm using a reverse on axis and, um, it took me a long time to get it right and I deleted it and I tried to fix it and, um, I had it set up perfect and then, uh, tried to make it better and it didn't help I made it worse but I got to the point where it's functioning as it's supposed to but but the, the reason I moved the viewpoint back is if you can see in the default one you're gonna be right next to this pad here your viewpoint here but it does I moved it back a little bit to here so that when I'm landing I can see or when I'm taxing also I can see what position this is in you know when you're landing it's nice to see um, you know your throttle quadrant where it is you know you in the reverse thrust and all that and or it could just be up here you know I mean still your viewpoint is back here but if you still want to get next to the instruments you can come up to here but then if you want to see your throttle quadrant, all you do is um, scroll back a little. And that's where you can see this. Because the reason being is I don't have a, a, a detent, but it works better not using one. I got the... Um, the th the Thrustmaster uh, Warthog one, but um, it, I don't know what what's up with this. But um, but here you can I'll see see what I mean. So 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 if I put um, and another thing I do with the keys, you know, you can use the keys. So this is I'm pressing the F1 key that's idle. Then the, the F2 key that's reverse thrust. then press the F1 key and, and that's another thing too with the calibration is sometimes the F1 and F2 keys don't work but then also I have it um, set up and I mapped in my um, my joystick here to where it's a uh, reverse thrust is like that that's reverse thrust and then to get rid of it I go that th that's mapped also so at some point those don't work and I don't really know exactly why but you have to recalibrate everything here but now they work in my joystick and in my keyboard and that's a little bit it took me maybe about 45 minutes or a half an hour to get it you know right and I'm just saying that you may have problems with that if you just come into this airplane so and then also um, in thrust and reverse I have no detent so I gotta just look you know where it is so I can't see so when I'm taxing you can see my problem here oh. So when I'm taxing, here I'll take off the parking brake. Okay, parking brake is off. So when I'm taxing, here you can see.
it's actually it's worse when I'm taxing because since I don't have a detent I don't know where idle is so I gotta see I gotta look and I gotta see exactly where um where my throttle is and I overpassed it so if you're just new to this airplane or you've been flying it a while I mean or whatever but this is one problem that you're gonna have or you could set it on have no detent but then your keys don't work. I'm not sure exactly what it was. But here, see, now I can see. But when I'm landing, I suppose it's not all that important because it doesn't matter. Because it won't go into reverse thrust when I'm landing. So you can be all the way up here. So it really doesn't matter. But it's, it's more when I'm taxing. But anyway, I just wanted to... And, I just wanted to cover that. Why I done that. Okay, now I I'm going to shut that off. Now, okay, now this is where... I changed it. Now you know why I changed it. Okay, so this is uh, the one that I made. You have longitudinal here, and lateral is um, left and right, and then vertical is up and down. So I moved the the longitudinal here. This number here, the first number here, the I point. So this is the the original spot. So it has some um, 43.2, well, whatever. But um, I just moved one number. This the um, 0 0.7. I moved it back to be um, point, point 0.1. So sorry about all the background noise too, by the way. But um, we got TV going. Stuff, but um, so if you change that to um, a one instead of a seven, then you can have the eye point back. And in my other videos, I I am s the vertical. I did the vertical. Well, I'll just explain it to you there here really quick. The vertical. I made my vertical up a little bit here. This is the vertical. This is vertical here. Vertical distance. What it says here. So this is the third number. And I just moved it up three. This is the original one. And I moved it up three to um six from a three to six. And then the longitudinal. 0.7 to a 1. So I moved it back, in other words. So I just want to, you know, say that um, so that um, if you want to change that, you can. And, and this is where you change it. And I'm going to go back into the um, flight simulator here. And show you about the views. Now, these are my views. But but what's weird is you have to um. You gotta click a, another spot first before you get into the crack spot. I don't know why that is, but so if you think it's screwed up, just you'll s watch the video and just see how I do. It. And then this is my second view here I made, 
because the other views was was uh, terrible and so this is that view and that's there and then this is the, and then the view that I changed now this one this one was in the center of the airplane of sitting in the seats but I changed it to the engine view and then this was actually the engine view and I moved it up next to next to this view so it's right next to each other so it's easier to find you know and all I done was move the other view it was the engine view this is the engine view that I moved this is the engine view I moved it was here but I just moved it to here then I got rid of the aileron view is one one of these I think it's like one of these views. I, I got rid of it. I, I use it for my engine view. But, and that's why I moved the, the engine. And I moved it, the, this is the, the aileron views. This was the aileron view. So th this would be your engine view before you change it. And then this would be the aileron view. So I just wanted to show you that before I, I'll try to explain that. But anyway, um, another thing too, um, I have the Toby Track IR. And if you don't have the Toby Track IR, these views are not going to... Um, act the same because um, you, you, if you don't have the to Toby track IR your views not gonna change like this right now it's not on but here now I put my Toby track IR on and here now I could change I could go all around you know navigate that's one nice thing about the Toby track IR though but if you have it it um you, you could um you have more control over your view. But I just want to explain that to you if you're wondering why your like your view won't be you know it'll be fixed here if you don't have the Toby Track IR. Then here this is the engine view here. See this is without the Toby Track IR but here it's with the Toby Track IR on. You know you could um navigate sometimes I want it off but you know but with the Toby track I kid you know you could move around more and this this spot little here and that's because you're a little bit too close to the window that, and that's why that happens but I wanted to c come out so you can see more of the wing because see you could see that coming down and, and I thought maybe these engines might wiggle or something you know that would might be cool but no they, they don't it would be cool if the engines would wiggle you know independently of the of the wing leg it would be neat but maybe with the FS flights of 2024 20, maybe that'll do that but um And this is the, oh. and this is the other view like that. And this is without the Toby Track IR be like that. So if you're wondering why your view's not exactly, you know, centered, I mean, I mean, that's because of the Toby Track IR. Now I don't know if the, the other. Um, IR would would make a difference but um, but anyway I just wanted to say that and um, 
I'm going to cut the video off here and uh, come back in the next one to explain the, the rest. Okay, I'll be back. Alright, hi everybody, this is uh, Don Derwin. I'm over at my desktop. And, um, this is the one that, um, my one that I used. I, I put a shortcut to it, a camera's desktop shortcut here. So it's easily, um, available to make changes. So if you want to take that idea. But it took me like three days, maybe about four days setting up the video and all that um, time went in this. So quite a bit of time to uh, make this. So anyway, um, here's my community folder. I got it shortcutted. And your path is, I don't know, this is my path, but this would be the, the path of mine. And um, you go into the inbuilds. A300, 600. Now these are the um, the repaints. So, but this is the original one. So you go into there. And sim objects. And airplanes. Then this is the freighter version, and this is the the passenger version. And then what I do when when I um, start changing any of these I make a, a like a like a backup folder you know so I can put all the, the originals in there and if I made any changes you know so that I would always come so I'd always be able to come back to it and I put like the cameras backups as like progress one then I put it back up here and so I got two backups not just one but I got two and then so a progress to then a backup of that you know just, just in case you screw it up because you don't want to um, screw it, especially after you made all the settings you know and actually I did not make um, a last setting on, on I mean a, I should make a progress three um, also I don't think I've done it yet but I just want to say for you guys to uh, to do that would be um, helpful, and it doesn't matter if you got an extra folder in there. And so, but this is oh, I wanted to be in Don settings, and then I want to be original. And this is the original one, what it was originally. Now I already showed you guys. So I made the changes here and there. Um, but um, so this is the original one, and. Um, the thing of the original one is it got a lot of windows. It's like, you know, all these, I mean, it has like, um, 60 spots. And what I do is I make a little spot here with little asterisks here. So what you got to do is you got to navigate down to camera definition, uh, 58. So... You go down to 58. So this is a um, portal two. This is portal one. So that's the first thing you what you would do. And what I would do is I would put um, little it's the um, lowercase asterisk or, or whatever do whatever you want so it's so it's easily identifiable when you come back to it so because this is um 50 but now this is not all that complicated you know to do don't but all right
first thing I want to do is how I tried to show you in the video how I got the files um, laid out. This is uh, the fixed portal. This would be, I do believe this is the, um, the right side and this is the left side sitting in an airplane. You know, I showed you that in the video. And then this is an airplane fixed um, de-ice wing. Now this is sitting in the passenger center. All right. Now this is one view that I use for the for the engine view. These are the same. I did not change those. But th this is the same, and I and I did not change the titles here, so you guys know. But the one thing I did move is this one here from the fixed plane ailerons. Okay, this is number 55. So this would be your engine view. But I replaced the engine, I swapped the fixed plane the aileron view, then I swapped it down to the engine view. Then, as you can see, Fifty-five fixed plane engine. So, but I swapped these out just to make them closer together. Not a big deal. All you do is copy and paste. So what you do is you go in here. You get a. Um, it's my daughter making that weird noise. But anyway, um, what you would do is. Fixed plane engine, right? So just take this, you go copy, you just copy, copy, and then paste. That's all you do. Copy, paste. And then so copy this to here. Or not copy, you would just cut. Cut. I mean, cut. You would just cut it. So then you go. Cut. I'm not going to cut it because I don't want to do it. So then cut and then paste. All right. And then that's all you would do there. All right. Then you would go down to your it's the The aileron. Fixed plane aileron. So, should do it the fixed plane aileron. This is the same thing here. So I moved that. It was that it would be in 51. So then just go copy. You just copy. Make sure you don't copy anything more. Then just then you just copy. And then it would be here. Then just put it here. But I'm not going to do that. But that's what you would do. All right. And then you paste it to where uh, 55 is. All right. Then. You take this, this is the engine, then you go copy or cut or whatever you want to do. Oh, copy is fine. And then put that one over to where 51 is, right here. Paste. That simple. Real easy. All right. Now I want I'll keep this there. This I don't need anymore. All right, now that's the first thing you do. All right. Now
get that out of the way. So this is the the one. I do believe this is the um. Actually, I think that this is the right side and this is the left side. But really, doesn't matter. Um. So, but what I do want you to do is these numbers here. Um, I'm going to be on 58. Th this is not that complicated. Pretty simple. But getting these numbers is the hard part. You know, I spent three, two days. No, but about three days f figuring out these numbers. So th this is the, um, the, like the direction, like the, PBH. This is the direction um, that your initial view is going to be. You know, it's like you know the direction of where you're looking, and this is where it is on the airplane. The initial X, Y, Z. Now this is the where it's at on the fuselage. You know the um, from the nose to the tail. This is the um, the number from the nose to the tail. Or no, wait a second. No, I was wrong. Sorry, I said that. This is from the nose to the tail here. All right. So this tells you, and this tells you back and forth where you're sitting in the seat, like um, how close you're to the window. So, so, um, and then if you look here, so initial X, Y, Z, this would be the other side and then so if you look here you see that this is a minus number this so it's the other side then this would be a non minus and so this is the other side of the aircraft then so so that's the easy way to tell which is one side or the other because it'll have a minus sign on it And then, um, yeah, so anyway, you just got to replace the numbers, what I tell you to replace. But, and I'm going to be working with this number here and this number here for right now, just those two. All right, and this is the default one. So what you would do is take my numbers here. This is the default one. We replace I have two point. And number 58 so 2.518 is my number so what you would do is replace this number with this number there and 2.518 what I done is I just changed the least amount that I had to so there and then this number here this number here you don't have to worry about because that is um, where you're sitting in the the seat Th that number it would all still be the same you don't or is it? Uh, I guess maybe I did change it a little. I 
I guess maybe it is a little different. Oh, maybe, oh it's because it's the same on this number. Well, anyway. Yeah, I guess I did change this number too. Because I think I just swap, I just copied this one over. Okay, I changed that number too. So, but all you do is replace these numbers with my numbers here. So, this and then this number here, this one I got from here. I copied it because you see here I just copied it. I just because I noticed that um, these numbers were a little bit different, but I just copied this and I put. I made them both the same. That's where I got that number. And so actually I really didn't change these middle numbers here. I just changed this one and I copied it over here to make it the same. So yeah, that that would be that. That would be this number here. So cuz I made these both the same and here they're different. And I'm like, "Why are they different?" Like I don't care why they're different, but they don't. You know, it doesn't matter. Those that's not the numbers that you got to change so much. But now this number is the thing that matters a lot. Um, this one here, this number here, because this, well. In my in my engine views, this number matters a lot, but in this one, this case, it doesn't matter. So what I done is I guess I just um, oh I I, I know it that they why this is different it's because um they have different rows of seats they have it in like um different rows of seats I noticed that so. This is why this number is different from this one because this is a different row up. It's like a row up or two rows up. I don't know exactly how many rows up. But I know, and that's why I made it the same here. So, so and that's why I made it in the same row. And that's why these numbers would be different. So, that number, this is the the default one and then I copied that number to here here like that same one and I copied that number here which is here and I copied it here and I put it to here same number and I just replaced it with that one all right easy enough all right And then that's actually all you got to do. That's it for that one. Then this one on the next one to the initial zoom, I had changed that one. Um, Oh, let's see, um, just to make sure. The initial zoom, oh, oh no. Initial zoom, oh, maybe I did change the zoom. All right, I did change the zoom. So here, this one here, initial zoom is, um, uh, initial zoom is, um, 0.35. And initial zoom is 0.2 here, right here, this number here. So then 58, 58. So initial zoom is make that um, 0.35 instead of 0.2. Then here, this is um, initial zoom 
yeah so this is the default one so they changed the zoom also so but I made these the same initial zoom 0.35 so that's another number you have to change well this number is not changed at all because this is the default one that's what it was so then that number you have to change there but you would just have to change this one because that's the same all right now that that's it with that okay now for the window there's a portal and this is fixed oh fixed on plane the ice wing so this is the same one here okay 56 and 56 um, I just kept these the same because it might uh, make it confusing but the only thing that's got to be changed um, now yeah I guess um, yeah so so you got to change change all these um, now I copied I copied these from here from here I copied these here I just copied all these numbers here from the mix portal one so this is the it if you mess with these numbers you, you'll see your it'll change wh which direction you're looking you know it's if, if you it'll take you a long time to mess with the numbers and but anyway just keep the so this is portal zero one so oh, portal zero one then you would just go copy then this is fixed on playing the ice wing And then you just copy these numbers to where it says PBH. You just copy there, right there. And that's the this would be on the the ice wing. And then and that that note you will see that these numbers here are the same numbers here also so you then you would just go copy and this would be in the other engine view is here in other words um, the other part of the airplane I mean the, um, the other side so you keep them on the same side so the numbers would be the same because it's obviously it's the same side of the aircraft and that's why these numbers got to be different here so then you just go copy and copy that whole section of numbers just go copy and paste copy and paste or delete them first then copy and paste over there you know what I mean right I mean you just delete them and then put those numbers there all right then this is the aileron one then these numbers these middle numbers this is then I were working on XYZ then these middle numbers they should be exactly the same no difference just keep those the same this is right and left engine um, I do believe um, 
that this would be um, I think this is the right side and it's the left side But it really don't matter because, I mean, I, just as long as you got the numbers right. All right. And then this number, well... Then this number here, you got to change also now this is for the same row of seats so six I mean the the other one that's here you would just um, delete it because it um, it's not in the right spot so so you would change this number Six point forty-five, and it took me like like I said three days to figure out these numbers. So I mean, it would, it would, believe me, this this is very simple. I mean, it it's changed the numbers, this number here, and this number here. And those are the same numbers. Just copy my numbers exactly what that is over to the initial X Y Z. Then the middle numbers. You know, just keep those the same there. I mean, they're both the same. And then now this number here, you have to change also. And so this is a minus, and this is a plus. And so this is how next, how close to the window you're sitting, and this is where you're at longitudinally on the airplane. So if you want to sit closer to the window, you would like um, like if you wanted to go closer to the window, you would you'd probably go outside the window. If you like uh, put um, a minus, it would be 0. 0.6. Then you're going to be outside the window. But if you put it at 0. 0.4, you're going to go inside the window because I got these right next right next to the outside window. So, but then put, uh, you know, the initial X, Y, Z, fix on a plane D ice wing, right there, that number there, that's the number to use. And that one here, just, it's the same number, just put a minus there. And, a, and this is uh, the, the aileron one, and this is the other engine view here. And so, that's all you got to do. That's it. Except one more thing. Um, you have to look in here, and I'm not really sure, but it took me, because otherwise the sound will be outside the airplane, and um, I gotta figure out. Oh yeah, here it is. Subcategory here. This is the subcategory. Fixed internal. So now this one would be the engine view here. Okay, now here I'll go find the engine view here, which I got it on. And I'll show you. Okay, here, this is the engine view. Okay, now, but this is your, uh, you're on the inside. So subcategory equals fixed on a plane internal. All right. You have to change that, otherwise the sound is going to be outside the aircraft. I, was, I, was, I did that, and I'm like, I'm like, what the heck? All right, everybody, this is uh, Don Derwin again. Um, my mic went off, and I had to uh, restart this video where it went off at. So I'm going to try to continue where I was at before. So here I was at subcategory, fixed on a plane, internal. 
Okay, now this is on fixed plane to LRN1, number 55. Now look over here, this is fixed plane on engine, right? And look over here, a subcategory, fixed plane external. So this would be external, so this is the n number that you'd have to change. I mean, not the number, but the subcategory. Just, um, just copy. And so you can see it, right? It's pretty self-explanatory. Internal and external. Otherwise, what you would do is you would get uh, the engine sounds inside the cockpit. And vice versa. You'd be outside the airplane listening to the cockpit noise. Or, I mean, the or passenger noise. But, um... But um, that, that's what you got to do um, and make it internal. And this is external. All right. And um, I don't remember if um, I covered this in another video or not, but you have to, the initial zoom. I made it um, 0.4. I made this one a little bit... Um, um, higher number because I, I wanted the wings to be a little um, little smaller but um, you can change these not this number is the initial zoom um, you can uh, adjust it like 0 0.5 0 0.6 or 7 or you can try it yourself and see what you think See if you like it or not, or try a smaller number. And then, um, but you don't have to. Totally up to you. I mean, if you don't want to mess it, just leave it the way it is. But um, this is like heading pan right now. I think, I'm not sure exactly what this is, the, the this number here. I, mean, I think that's um, where you're looking um, and like if you're gonna look further ahead on the airplane, or you're gonna look further aft, I think that's what that number is, if I remember right. And then pitch pan rate, I really don't remember what that is, but um, these numbers you can probably um, adjust because I, I do believe that this is where you're, which direction you're gonna be looking forward or aft, you know. If you're sitting in a passenger seat you can maybe change that a little bit if you like um, yeah yeah I think think that's what that is like if you want it 60 degrees or 40 degrees and um, pitch pan right I'm not really I don't really remember what that is if I even m made that but um but you can try these two numbers here but um, I'm pretty sure I'm right about this. I haven't tried it yet, though, but the way if, if you want to be looking, you know, like I said, further after, further forward in the airplane. But, yeah, it's too bad um, my mic wasn't recording. Then, um, but anyway, so that would be done. That would be it. Then that's all you got to do. Then I also wanted to go through here where I, I got this book. Um, Airbus Industries A300 like, um, like I'm a pilot also I have like five, 500 hours and um, find like uh, Pipers and and uh, you know Cessna 172 biggest one I think is uh, the Piper Piper Archer, the Piper Archer, that, that was my, my biggest airplane. But, but man, that was cool. I was flying that thing. Boy, that was some horsepower. <laughs> 180 horse, something like that. I don't remember exactly what it is, but man, that was um, that was nice. But anyway, I found this book, and you can get it at the ESCO Aircraft Manuals. Um, I'll show you the link here, but i just show you the... Um, and I, I, I may upload this. I'm not sure. But um, but you can get it. It's like fifty bucks. Um, and it, it is an A three hundred manual. 
I mean, yeah, A300, 600, 620. And, you know, you can go through, and it's like um, it has uh, 1,240 pages. So, you know, it's a um, real in-depth manual there. And, and that's what I like. I, like an, what, I, I was going to make my own um, aircraft, and I was getting all, I was doing a 747, and um, I was learning the code and all that stuff, and C++ and XML and doing my own, um, you know, using the GMAX and learning all the, you know, the stuff that you got to do. And actually, it's pretty complicated. I studied it for a couple of years, maybe three or four years, four years about. But um, that's why I kind of like understand you know a little bit of stuff but um but here i just going through the book and so you know it's basically um manual and then they got um the, the fmc they got stuff there and i plan on um you know learning this airplane more better um then you got the fmc there and and then also another section they got this they got another here this is a Airbus and A300. This is a flight crew operating manual. They have got some more stuff here. I was going to try and do a pre-flight. A walk around and a pre-flight. And this is... um. Normal procedures. You know, I was going to try and... um. This is the checklist, and I was gonna, you know, try and do some of this stuff, and just to um, walk around, and I'm gonna try and do that in my my next video. But first thing I want to do is get the airplane, you know, to my liking before I go spend all kinds of hours, you know. But so I was gonna try and go through this um, checklist. So I'll be making more videos later, and. Um, But um, I just want to share a little bit more of this manual if you want to buy it. They got um, either that or I'll upload it. I'm not sure if I want to or not, or if I will or not. I don't know. But anyway, you can get it at escrowaircraftmanuals.com. Here, where um, oh yeah, there's me playing the guitar there. Oh, this is the ending of the song. <laughs> so anyway, um, aircraftflightmanuals.com. Just go here and copy. Then paste. <laughs> kind of bummer. My mic quit working. The thing shut off on me. But anyway, I, I've been buying from these guys for... Um, a lot of years I got the yeah, 747 manual. They got major airlines. Then they got, you know, different um, like Airbus. Um, the A340. A300, 600. This is the one I got right here. Includes two volumes. So, you know, their manuals are kind of expensive too the $175 I mean gee man includes four volumes and mostly a covers a little um, but um, man it's a lot of money to spend <laughs> but uh, they'll also send you a paper copy also if you like that I mean but um but $50 is not so bad but um but yeah, I'm still debating whether I should upload that or not. I may. I don't know. But um, but that's where you can get it though. Aircraft Esco EscoAircraft.com. So it's a, it's a resource. And also, I did find another one. 
Um, an A. This is an Eastern. Eastern. This is um. Now this one's copyrighted. Now that one's not copyrighted. This, this file is produced and copyrighted by flightmanualsonline.com, Wellington, New Zealand. This I bought manuals from them too. It's only like ten dollars. You know, I think the Esco aircraft they're overcharging their uh, manuals there because it's been a PDF file. I mean, it's like you know, but they will send you a paper copy. I mean, uh, in some cases, uh, maybe paper is better. But um, this is the Eastern. This is uh, for the A three hundred B four. Okay, yeah. So this is um the one I guess with the flight engineer station. But um this one you get that uh, um yeah this flight emails online dot com Wellington New Zealand. But um, but anyway, this is only ten dollars, and they'll give you a PDF file. So anyway, um, hope you liked the video and like and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. I'm trying to get like um, you know, a thousand um, subscribers. And like and subscribe to the channel. I would definitely appreciate it. And um, and the rest of the video is um, um, of of me just doing a touch and goes there. And uh, one for each view. And um, like I said, I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers to my channel. And um, uh, you know, I hope you you liked the video, and um, I hope I helped you out, made your uh, A300, 600 um, fly a little bit better. I don't know why they didn't put engine views there, but. Um, Kind of disappointing that I had to make them myself, but um, but here you can make yours yourself also, and it's not that complicated to do. I may upload um, one, but I may not. It's not that complicated to do. Um, probably better off for you to do it anyway, because. Um, You know, you can more individually um, do your um, CFG file there. But um, I hope you liked the video and uh, like and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate the support and uh, so I can make more videos. And I, I plan on making more of these videos on A300 and... Uh, the PMDG um, 777, I, I can't wait till that aircraft comes out because uh, I have a lot of experience with the PMDG before. I was, like I said, I was trying to make my own airplane, an FSX, and um, then I came around PMDG and I had like, um, I bought like four 747 manuals and, you know, I was going to start um, making an airplane and... I came across PMDG and I'm like, huh, what's this? A 747? I'm like, wow, let's see. You know, I had I had a real flight manual, real Boeing 747 manual from Esco uh, Northwest Airlines, but now they don't sell the Northwest Airlines anymore. But but I will definitely upload that um, before it comes out. Um, I also I got a triple seven manual too online. I or there, there is one by copied it in the PDF at flightsim.com. Look at my um, my channel for that also. Um, but I got a uh, Northwest Airlines, so I, I but some paper form. I got to put it in PDF form, then I'll upload it 
one of these days, one of these months, maybe one of these get closer to release. Because, um, yeah, PMDG, they don't uh, give you manu manuals anymore. I mean, I, I, I kind of don't like that, you know. But, um, but luckily, you know, I have one, and um, I'll try to upload that. But there's also another 747, a GE 747, um, I mean a Pratt & Whitney one. No, I no, I think it's a, it's a GE GE manual uh, online too. Somewhere you could you could probably um, find it. But um, but yeah, so I'm gonna try learning this airplane and um, and hopefully I make some more videos until I get or if I get sick and tired of it. And then go to a different aircraft or something. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to try and uh, definitely learn how to fly this airplane. And so far, it seems okay. I mean, except for I don't like the sound. The sound, I mean, some of the sound is, um, I kind of don't like their sound, you know, their engine sounds and outside sounds. So some of it, it doesn't seem right. Some of it seems like a little, little off maybe. But, um. I, I don't know. I, I can't. I can't really say. But anyway, hope you liked the video and um, just watch the the you know flying around at the touch and goes and um and it took me about about three days, four day, about three or four days. I'm about going on like four and a half days now of work you know going into this so it took me a lot of time so for you to watch the video it's um definitely um not time wasted so anyway like i said i hope you like my video and um catch y'all later okay bye